Well, hello, hennies. How are we all? How are we all doing? Excuse the fact that I am a little bit shiny. I'm not doing an impersonation of the crab from Moana. It is, in fact, just 30 degrees in the UK right now. British houses are meant to keep in heat. About a month ago, I made the worst shell challenge in existence, and I had a great time doing it, don't get me wrong. The intention with that video was to make you struggle as much as humanly possible, and I sufficed. Thank you all for taking part. Thank you for all submitting. And today, we're going to be going through the winners of the shell challenge. I was impressed. Like, there's some really good ones. So with that being said, let's jump on in. Are we ready? Oh, Jesus, my microphone's not ready. My microphone's like, give me a second. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to judge. Well, I've judged anyway. The judgment has already been made. I'm feeling some kind of way today. You know what? I hope you all did struggle. I hope you all did. And I don't mean that in a nasty way, but I hope I distracted you for a little while. It is the least I can do. And oh, what a shell this was. The shell from hell. So this was it. Listen, I don't know what I was thinking during the time of creating this, but I do know that I was going through some. I do struggle juggling everything well i was just struggling in lockdown there comes a point when you get sick of your own reflection and i was at that point my lovelies so i thought i'd do the these triangles just to throw you for a loop i thought it's the least i can do because why suffer and not make anybody else suffer with you it's called being selfish something some of you don't know about <laughs> so that's that it's basically three floors it's also got the hidden bit under there i did change this into like a island kind of cafe i'll link it down below in case you want to see it so the first one that we're going to go through plum evil japan village this is base game it's seven hundred and thirty-five thousand. i don't think i've ever seen a house that expensive but the night is still young obviously so the next couple of houses could be who is to know by hello ina on the gallery as well it's 50 by 50 nine bedrooms nine bathrooms so there's a lot going on also this is my seventh seventh build ever but as it this made my computer lag so we might have to cope with a crash i'm just letting you know <laughs> first off the snow just adds to this let's just take a second to just look at that and what quick little tour it's it's absolutely crazy to see it's base game as well but even the detail is like these pool things would you call them cap it's would these be classes of, sorry he looks really morphed from that angle it's the little things in life love it's stunning i'm just in a in a little bit of shock honestly loves i'm out of breath just by looking at this build i just want to know how long this took we have one house here oh i love the use of them windows how have they done oh wait no how have they done that i'm caught no i need to go in i'm confused oh that's clever because I thought these were loads of tiny windows, but they're not. This is the upstairs of the house. Oh, my camera is a bit like... Oh, da -da 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 -da. I didn't mean to zoom in on her boobs there. I just want to say, like, respect women's bodies. I think this is a piece of custom art that they've put in a frame of... That is innovative. Something... At, oh, my good God. In the fireplace. I do be loving to see creativity in 2020, loves. What the... Oh, look at that carrot. Oh, nom nom. I'm having carrots for my tea tonight. How did they know? I think this is a live edit object that they've built on top of. That is so beautiful. So these windows, they're all shelves. The patients, the patients, I, d mm, I could not do it. <laughs> oh, there's a dead cow plant. I relate to this because I myself have also killed a cow plant. Oh, and all the trees. It's an absolutely outstanding use of debug objects and really getting creative with a build. I know that this is not the time or place to make things about me being a nostalgic bitch, right? But I'm just going to take a second to be a nostalgic bitch. This reminds me of that scene with Troy and Gabriella when Troy's on the roof and the team come up and they're like, what about the team? And he's like, I don't care about Gabriella. I've never cared about Gabriella. And then Gabriella is there like, oh, bitch. And then, yeah, well, that reminds me of that. And they also have this page up here where it's like, Jeffrey just missed being in kindergarten. Yes, me too, Gabriella, because I also struggle to move on from the past. The vibes of this place are immaculate. Now, this is what we call cohesivity, love. Oh, there is a plate. <laughs> Someone got a little bit uh, peckish. Oh, God, I love it. I love, like, how small everything is. I do love to see a good use of space. This is so big, honestly, that I think I'm just going to have to do a bird's eye view. This was the actual shell bit here. The trap triangles are honestly just blended in the world so seamlessly that i'm like oh i did not expect you to get around this so flawlessly and the placement of windows like there's no walls there it's just windows we've got the bottom floor jesus this is so cool i think this bit's the only bit that we 
didn't explore. God, the patience that it must take to put all them windows there. It could never be me, honestly. <laughs> I do be in a state of shock. I, I placed it in this lot in Windenburg as well, just because it was a 50 by 50 lot and it was absolutely massive. And I was like, where else can I place it? But this fits in so well. It works perfectly. So that is the first one. Big fat round of applause. Didn't crash my computer as well, which we are remaining thankful for. There's five winners for this. So one of them, one of them was in Windenburg, the rest are in Strangerville. They're all kind of towards the same theme. So the first one that we're going to go into is the Curious Science Museum. So this is from 247 Mitzi on the gallery. The Curious Memorial Science Museum is a monument to the achievements of the Curious Brothers of Hashtag Strangetown. Enjoy photographs, specimens and memorabilia as you explore the out of this world scientific journeys of Pascal, Vidkund and Laszlo. Made with a love of law. I do like to see it. I do like to see it. So you know me, I am a haw for law. Any haw. Let's not start the gazer off. Any law, I eat it up. I'm still thinking about shaving my head, you know. This also just works absolutely perfectly in, in Strange Town. Strangerville, get the two mixed up because really the law should be tying these two together but the Sims 4 team just said not to win, sorry. <laughs> the Curious family are a family from the Sims 2 Strange Town. It, they came with a base game and they're really scientific and they're really into the science and everything and this is part of the house over here. Like they had this big basically viewing station. It was basically like NASA but as a house and then one of the brothers ended up being pregnant with an alien baby. That's the backstory that you need to know behind that. How cool would that be? Can you imagine if the Sims was actually real which it is to me in my head but like not everybody might be, you know, painted with the same brush as I am. I just wish, actually, no, I am making this into a dick. Sims 4, please, can we tie on some of the law? I need to see it. I need to see it. If the Sims team thought this up and this was an actual museum in the world, that would be stunning, love. Stunning with a capital Juno Birch G. So this is the shell. This is what they've done with it. Oh, oh wait, I'm I'm muck not allowed in. I love the use of that. I know it's only small, but I do be loving the little details. First of all, let me just role play getting pregnant with an alien baby. Boop. Bap, biddy bap bap, I am pregnant. Oh, that's a, such a good use of that space. Literally like space is in the actual thing and space is in geographical? I don't know. Have they recreated this family in The Sims 4 and then took pictures? I actually think like this is a kind of build where it's class anyway and the creativity is absolutely insane, but it's also so usable to the point where I genuinely think I would use this in my, if I'm actually playing with a save, then I'll put it in here. I can't believe they've recreated the family to put them in here. I always did fancy the one with like the longer hair though. So it reminds me of Sirius Black. Does that say FAP? That's how I'm reading it, loves. And the Sims team need to wash their mouth out. Honestly, why is this? I was about to say that in like a shocked manner. Like, why is this making me tear up? But I think we all know by now that the drop of a hat, I will go. I won't hesitate, bitch. This makes me excited to play the game. I want to visit here and have like a little scientific kid come and visit this place. Each floor is dedicated to each of the brothers and I absolutely love that. See, there's the blonde lad. And then if we go up a floor, the pregnant one on oh, is Bobby. I am amazed by that one. This is by Charlotte Amman on the gallery. My shell challenge entry, which based on the Strangeville and Jesse zombie video. If you don't know the zombie video, I basically done a zombie apocalypse in The Sims. Potentially be the world that we're living in right now. But something about Dystopia just really, really got to me with this build challenge. I love it. I absolutely, I've never felt so at home. Because honestly, don't be scared for me all right like that. But if you zoom in pretty close... That looks like Middlesbrough. Look how cool that looks. Oh, they've used them triangle bits well, I see. This looks legit. That was legitness. A letterbox right in the front, but I'm willing to let you off because I cannot place a bin. So we enter. I got really scared there, I'm not gonna lie, because I thought that that was a baby's cot and I thought someone called the RSPB. I'll go through this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually decorated. Lovely. There is a baby's cot there. Someone called the RSPB. <laughs> the bathroom is lovely though. I'd quite risk to stop you just to get a bath in there. And then we go up a floor. I kind of honestly hand on heart say, I don't think I've ever really used them counters, but I think I might start, like I say it in every single shell challenge video, but one of the really good things about these is you can see people use things in ways that I would never consider. Could probably do a, a dystopian storyline with this one. Not that you'd want to because we are living in a dystopia right now when it turns out that it's not actually fun. But imagine playing through the Strangerville storyline in this house. There's Bone Hilda. She's trying to come back in the game, but Sim Guru Ninja is like, I'm not doing it, sorry. The vibes of this place are astronomical. I love the use of this triangle. It's a little like, yeah, just put your tools in there. Stunning love. I love that this is a usable post-apocalyptic place. I love to see it. Bone Hilda 7 looks. The next one that we've got is by Sarah Moonblade on the gallery is Plum Beaval Shell Challenge. 316, so quite expensive. Everyone made such nice building so I decided to go another way. The steampunk way. Welcome to the steampunk Mad Inventor's house. Is it practical? No. Does everything work? 
attractive? Probably not. Sounds just like my build. Is it attractive? Definitely not. But it is weird and quirky. And that's it with this evil shell challenge. It was a laugh to make. Fashion over function just so I like it. I'm just going to take a second to show you around how obscene. This one just is so unique that I'm shocked. Like, look at that door with the glass. I would, I just never think to do it. I love it here. And that, that on the outside. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Girl, you have... Oh, the hardest part of this entire shell challenge, let's, let's not lie, was the triangles. And girl, they have done it so flawlessly. I love the sporadicness of the outside. If I'd done that, it'd look like a bag of shite, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't think to put something in it to break it all up or uh, do the slightly different grass. I'd beat myself up over what terrain paint to use for an hour and then just end up giving up. It's a hot air balloon and it's tied to the goddamn tree. That's insane. Detail on this roof, love. I want to get married here in this place doesn't actually exist so can I commission someone to build me this house I'll just live in it and I'll get married in there as well apparently though I'm not having many guests so not all of my mods can come I love the fact I'm starting to reconsider commissioning this place in real life purely because there might not be enough chairs for my mods and not because I'm not actually engaged so really why would I want to commission a wedding chapel and yet here I am considering it my mind just does not work like this so I wouldn't be able to think to even do this it wouldn't be a possibility for me because <laughs> my mind wouldn't be able to put these pieces together even this outdoor decking bit my good golly gosh. I don't know why I defaulted to an American accent there. I love the water. This build is so good that I almost forgot to go inside the actual house because the outside was so... Fan dabby dozy. I love the kitchen. I actually, this oven is one of my favorite ovens in the game. There's just not enough context to use it. It all works as well. There's so many different styles. The last one is Plum Evil Cyberport. This one I chose because of the backstory, because my good golly gosh. This is by Becca Town Sims. It's 439,000 on the gallery. The mother returns. Strangerville citizens retreat into the canyons and live in a dystopian, grungy cyberpunk city. I do be like in the cyberpunk style today. Apparently so. Oh, we already have someone living here. Oh, look at me. Look at me organising things. Who is she? There's so much going on. When did things like this become possible? Do you know what I mean? Look, there's a pictures. You can go see a film. Socially distanced, of course. Jesus. That's obscene. This is so cool. They've really took this whole dystopian theme to the next level. Good God. There's like, it's multifaceted. How do people think this? I've got another pictures as well. Just in case you don't want to go to the same pictures that you've been to before. The shell is a bar and this is the, the usable part of the lot. Where's the, I've, I'm lost. I've, I've fallen. I like how they've sneaky, sneaky, sneaky got around this, the covering bit. Oh. <gasps> That is a nice use of that space. Just in a state of shock, honestly, loves. He can literally do anything in the game build-wise. It's so cool. I just don't get how this goes through people's heads. Do you know what I mean? That is a cool use of the triangle. I am very much pleased with that use of the triangle. How cool. Can anyone think of another adjective for me, please? Anything's a urinal if your mind's open at home. <laughs> Jesus, I just want to take a look over. That's so cool. Like, that's at the point of being obscene. It's a city, man. So, that is everything that I have for you today. I'm not too sure what I want to do for the next shell challenge. And I don't know when the next shell challenge is going to be because everything's easy enough right now. So, people are needing less distractions. But I kind of want to do a themed one next time. So, I don't know. Imagine if we just <gasps> make your favourite food item. This stresses me out so much. I want to fucking eat. I haven't made a shell for that one yet. You can follow me on Twitch if you want to because that's where I usually make these shell challenges. Also in my Discord as well, the announcements bit, I always keep you updated on shell challenges, on streams and everything like that. So you can join both if you want to, but also you don't have to if you're just here for the crack and just enjoy watching me while you do your washing up because yes, I've seen you comment. Thank you for watching me, love, while you're doing your pots. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.